So on this one, we have a, um, a letter to a power and then another power. And so the rule is uh, powers, let me write it here, powers outside parentheses multiply powers inside parentheses. So this one will multiply five, this three will multiply seven. And so what we'll get is y to the five times one is five over three times seven, 21. So that's what goes right here. So do y to the five, 21 power. That's, that's the power of the y. So then on the next part, part B, over here, part B, they want us to write it in terms of a root. So how do we change that to a root? Well, the five, the 21 swings back like this. There we go. Does that make sense? So in other words, whatever is in the denominator swings back to be in the hook. There's this motion, or I could show it the other way. There's, well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. Like that. So there we go. So that's what happens. You can go, you can go any, either way. You can go from the root to the denominator or from the denominator back to the root. There, there are two ways of saying the same thing, like saying one and uno. You're saying the same number in two different languages. This and this are saying the same thing in two different languages. This is fractional power language. This is root language. They're saying the same thing. How do you know? Whatever's in the hook goes back to the denominator. It's the same thing. And now they tell you to identify. They, they say to make it on this question, they say make it the nth root of y to the m. So then therefore this is our n and this is our m. So they're saying the n is the 21. The M is the five. They just want the N and the M on that. And so there we go.